fresh new haircut I had to bring you guys along just because I know Brandon Diamond Campbell wanted to see it he wants to know what I'm doing every second of every minute he wants to come to lunch with me he likes my fresh cut he wants to know what the haircuts called it's called the motherfucking silent Mike mr. Brandon Campbell Everybody go tag Brandon Campbell below. Make sure he sees my haircut. Otherwise, his day might not be made, and we want to make his day. One of my favorite guys, no joke, Brandon Campbell, cool, cool, cool ass dude. On my way to Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. We got Baby Slayer, aka George Lehman, heading to Sacktown. We're going to take him to lunch uh, and hit up some deadlifts. He's probably going to deadlift a small mountain. Well, I'm just going to deadlift 400 pounds for a bunch of singles or doubles because it's my speed day. I'm trying to work on that sumo form, trying to perfect it. And that's it for now. I'll catch up with you all in the gym. I guess when I deadlift 900 pounds, maybe Mark will give me a fucking limo. Nope. <laughs> Until that day. Until that day, I'll just fucking hang out with Filipino Thunder. Just ate a sandwich. Mark oh Smelly God. Bell. Our guests. Whoa. What the? Something popping out of there. What is that? Like six months? No, it's poop. Oh, yeah. it's a poop it's baby. It's going to be about two hours probably. A two hour poop baby? That's a deadlift time. Um, Are you going to poop while you deadlift? It won't take me two hours to pop it out, but it'll probably happen in about two hours. ETA, two hours for the poop baby. We're heading to the warehouse. Going to show him the slanger. this mutant. Look at this guy. He just showed up. He popped out of a limo. It was a little awkward. Yeah, it was. Showing <laughs> us up. <laughs> See if you could stuff him into this car. Now he'll fit in the, Throw the, in the Escalade. Trunk. It's French. And we'll see you guys at the warehouse. We're at the Slingshot Bat Cave, undisclosed location. That's the hoop I fucking dunk on every week. And here's the Slinger Warehouse, ladies and gentlemen. Super top secret. We're all getting our pre-workout in. George Lee is not happy with this his scooper situation. But this is the top secret, Smelly. What do you know about this? What's going on, guys? Hitting some deadlifts on the bar. It was me, Mark Smelly Bell, and the baby slayer George Lehman. Um, Mark and I were supposed to just kind of do some speed work, but obviously Lehman's in town. Uh, and he's going to smash some serious freaking weights. My goal was basically to do 8 to 10 sets of 2. Just do a bunch of them beltless. And then a bunch of them or a couple of them with a belt. See the difference. See how my form feels. Uh, and just feel out the sumo. Lehman just went like a beast. Throwing on plates left and right. till he got to about 765 pounds I believe. Uh, the math may seem weird to you. But we have a 55 pound plate on the inside then stack on 45s afterwards, so it may get a little confusing, but whatever. Mark went plate for plate with him till about 650 or so, and Mark ended up hitting a pretty good uh, single at 650. I think he hit a double around 605 before that. Um, neither of us were really prepped to smash heavy weights, and who knows if George was or not. He's just strong as fuck. Maybe he prepped for this. Maybe he just wanted to smash serious-ass weights. I haven't seen um, <laughs> how crazy heavy these are and how fast they move. I mean... 500 pounds, I've never seen him move that fast. I've seen a lot of very, very strong guys deadlift. Um, but Lehman's explosiveness, his form, his everything is just literally next level. He gets in such a great starting position. And you guys are going to say, oh, straps, belt, this and that. I mean, the guy's deadlift, I think, 909 pounds hook grip in competition.
425 pounds was my working weight, like I said. Just trying to feel it out. Look at that, glutes. I've been working on my glutes, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys appreciate it. Moneymaker Mike, killing it with a camera. But yeah, I'm trying to get a little more upright. I'm starting to get as tight as I can. Nice, slow touch and go. Letting the weight dissipate into the ground. Stay upright, control it. Barely let the slack go, and then explode again. I just did a couple more sets when those guys were done. Uh, and then Mark and I moved on to squats. Squatting, I didn't really have a goal in mind. I think Mark was hitting some heavy sets of four. Um, I just want to hit, it's technically not my squat day. It's I often do uh, either reps or some kind of speed squat on this day. I was a little beat up, so I just want to hit some doubles. I think I worked my way up to about 465. I mentioned in a different video that I just take small jumps when I don't know what I'm doing. So I did about 415, 435 or 445 for a double, and then 465 for a double. I believe this is my second um, quote-unquote working set. It's about 455 or so. 55 pound bar, four plates, 10-5, do the math. I don't like math. I don't really care. Everything was feeling pretty good. I'm uh, in a blessed position that I know a lot of greats in this sport. And earlier in this week, uh, Ed Cohn, the best powerlifter of all time, texts me and said, hey, um, you're squatting really good with the buffalo bar, uh, but your hands need to, you need to wrap your bar around the hands, get them a little bit wider, see if you can get that bar a little bit lower. And so I'm trying that today, even though it felt a little unstable on the unrack, um, the squat itself felt great. I could really drive my traps into the bar, uh, and I felt really strong. Those look pretty fast. Video always looks faster than it actually is, um, but it did feel good. So I'm going to keep working on that a little bit wider, grabbing my uh, thumb around the bar. I used to go kind of suicide squat grip, um, but when Ed Cohn tells you to do something, you just do it. I'm going to at least give it four weeks and see how it feels. Here's Smelly's top set, I think about 415 pounds. For uh, four reps. You heard of the uh, Knights of the Round Table? I'm here at the Fatty Table. It's like a kid's table. But it's Fats at the Round Table pizza. pizza. Maturity of kids, bodies of an oversized baby. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Bob Evans. Ladies and gentlemen, Bacon and Barbells. Ladies and gentlemen, D. George Lehman. Ladies and gentlemen, a bunch of bums from Reno. <laughs> Fat baby Jesse. <laughs> Mr. Thunder. Mr. Zeus. That is all for now. I'll leave you with this. Beautiful nope. face. He looks like a pedophile. Just hammer some sushi. Canadians are always so nice. Yeah, stop being so nice, freaking Canadians. Give, give those people, give the YouTubers some money. They could use it. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Dinner's over. It'll all work out. You guys can. Time to catch some Z's. We got a podcast with this giant tomorrow morning. He looks tired and hungry, ready to eat a baby. Yeah. He pulled some weight. You guys probably will see that shit. Cool. And we'll catch you in the morning. Ladies and gentlemen, day two. George Lehman, Tessa hanging out. Time to power cast. Mark Bell's fathead, periscoping. Jim McD working or pretending to. Moneymaker, same thing. He's actually doing nothing. He just keeps pressing the same fucking button over and over. Oh, oh, you have the internet on there, huh? Yeah. Pornhub streaming through your right. camera. You got dick pics? You know, eights or whatever. You just film us a pod. Finish. Finish the fucking podcast with those traps. This guy was just watching, doing nothing, being a bum. We were hosting. Now we're hopping in the Escalade. That's French. Gonna grab some food, and I think it's time to bench press. Just crushed a fucking burrito, aka a bench burrito. If it were squad day, it'd be a squad burrito, but it's not a bench day, so it's a bench burrito. Now I'm gonna go bench because I just ate the burrito that is a bench burrito. What if it's squad day? You can't. You can't have a burrito on squad day. Well, because of rule number four. Yes. Rule number four. Don't shit yourself. Don't shit yourself. Rule number four. Tight back, knees out, brace your core, and do not poop yourself. <laughs> Time to bench.
just finished a little bench session nothing too exciting couple sets couple reps podcast went great want to thank george for coming to hang out fucking awesome guy inspiring what he does as a lifter but even more inspiring how he's kind of turned his life around uh which you guys can hear on mark bell's powercast um and just turned it into a career he did find he was lost but he found what he loved and he turned it into a job now i'm gonna go teach some people how to deadlift excuse me how to bench it's bench day for my class and i'll catch up with you guys later if you like the video like that bitch share that bitch comment that bitch give it a thumbs up on that bitch and subscribe, my friends. Later.